If you are one of the millions of people suffering from vision loss or eye disease, it might surprise you to know that many of the breakthrough treatments come from the world's only combined eye transplant and research center, which happens to be in Ybor City. This morning, meet the game changer who has been playing a major role in making the Lion's Eye Institute world renowned. It opened its doors in 1973. Today, by uniting the world's largest eye bank and a cutting-edge ocular research center, the Lion's Eye Institute is now the global leader in ocular science. This man, Jason Woody, is the visionary and CEO of Lion's Eye, leading his team with a critical mantra. We believe fast to failure. If you're going to fail, let's fail fast. We don't want them to spend time, energy, and extremely uh, very expensive funds, wait six months down the road, and find out the project's not a success. What's taking three, four months other places, we can determine success and sometimes less than a week. Breakthroughs come faster as well, and here's why. Lion's Eye just expanded building sleeping quarters on site. It's unprecedented. Researchers from all over the United States and abroad can stay here and immediately study donated eye tissue before it breaks down. So you're going straight from the basement here on campus all the way up to the research lab. You're going up to Some 55,000 men, women, and children around the world now have their sight back because of the Lion's Eye Institute and game changer Jason Woody. He started his career as a collector, working with the grieving families of donors. But knowing that gift will change another person's life is what drives Jason's passion. They don't know who we are, you know, but they're just hoping at the end of the day we're going to make a difference in their lives. Everyday life is easy because of the things that they do here. And Thanks to Lion's Eyes, Samantha Barlow can see. At the age of nine, she had her first transplant and another at 10. At 16, she was fitted with contacts and the eye-opening realization of independence. I wouldn't be living on my own. I own my own condo. I am so independent. I come here by myself. I don't drive. I take the heart plus, but I come here by myself. I can go grocery shopping by myself. It made me who I am today. Without a cornea transplant, I, I wouldn't be able to go to college. That's probably the biggest thing. She's in college now where she met her fiance and together they will see the world. The Lion's Eye Institute is not-for-profit and completely self-sustaining. Search links on TVO.com for details about an event happening Saturday, October 6th. It's called The Eyeball at Pepin Hospitality. My husband and I will be there. And if you know a game changer in our community, I sure would like to meet them. Find me on Facebook and Twitter or shoot me an email.